shows Ahmad Williams waiting in the principal's office after being sent there by a teacher. He's exchanging words with school resource officer Steve Shaulis. Suddenly, Shaulis confronts Williams, putting him in a headlock, and eventually dragging him to the hallway. Principal Kevin Murray helps Officer Shaulis hold Williams down, while a teen is handcuffed and tasered. At a press conference, Williams' attorney, Todd Hollis, said this is one of three known incidents at Woodland Hills School District. If a picture speaks a thousand words and that picture and that picture clearly does, this picture clearly does, then a video has to speak a million. In another alleged incident in November, audio appears to capture Principal Murray scolding a student found on school property after hours. You call me a I'm a punch in the face. You know it, okay? Man to man, bro. I'm 14 years old and up. I'm gonna punch you in your face. A third incident in early April shows student Tayshawn Wade restrained by two police officers and taken into a room off camera. Principal Murray is seen walking in and out of the room. Hollis claims Wade was then punched in the face by Officer Charlotte. Superintendent Alan Johnson says the incidents do not represent a pattern. What Mr. Hollis has, has done here is taken two or three isolated incidents over the course of several years in a building with 1,700 students and has managed to weave that into a, to a conspiracy. The attorney for Principal Murray says he did not physically violate anyone. He was only responding to the officer's actions. He also says the audio is taken out of context. He was only repeating what the student said to the teacher. He is also the attorney for Officer Charles. He says Charles continues to serve the district and is cooperating with the investigation, Charlie. Glad, thank you so much. 
launching a criminal investigation into this brutal attack caught on tape. The video just four seconds long going viral. Watch as an armed school police officer at Baltimore's Reach Partnership School slaps this 16-year-old boy three times before kicking him. Look closely, a second officer standing next to him doesn't flinch or react. The video sending shockwaves through the community. As a parent of a Baltimore City school student, I was appalled uh, by what I saw, the behavior that uh, was demonstrated on the um, the video is certainly something you never want to see. This morning, school officials telling ABC News the two officers have been placed on administrative leave. This incident is not indicative. This is unacceptable. It's not behavior that will be ever tolerated by any city school employee. But this is an isolated incident. Words of little comfort for this teen whose lawyers say suffered injuries to his ribs and face.